Rebecca. And I'm Hunter. This, this is the Family Show! Howdy folks and welcome to Family Showdown special holiday event for Halloween. We're going to give you all of our top five games with monsters in them. This was an idea that the girls came up with themselves and so they wanted to give you guys a treat. So I'm excited to see what games are on this list. Maybe we'll <laughs> play some of them around Halloween. Ooh, that's a good call. Yeah, it's a surprise. Everyone's list is a, is a surprise to everyone else. No one knows anybody's games, so this will be interesting. All right, so I figure I'll start. We'll go down the list, and we'll just repeat that five times. Sounds like a plan. All, All right. right. You ready? Yep. My number five is the quintessential Halloween game. Betrayal at the House on the Hill. Ooh, good pick. So, Betrayal House on the Hill is a exploration game. So, the first part of the game, you're exploring the house, seeing all kinds of weird B-movie haunted weirdness, <laughs> collecting items and getting abilities and stuff. And at some point, the haunt begins. <gasps> and someone becomes a traitor. And then it's everyone against that person to see who wins the game. So my number five, Betrayal at the House on the Hill. All right, so my number five is Boss Monster. Boss oh. Monster is a game where you are basically a video game boss and you are building your dungeon with and luring heroes into your dungeon to kill them. And that's my number five, Boss Monster. Nice, nice job. My number five is Dungeon. Dungeon is a game where you like killing uh, monsters like spiders and stuff, mm -hmm. and and you're moving in rooms to kill stuff and 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 here also might lose your stuff. That's true. <laughs> you can, but you can go back and get it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yep, good choice. Good choice. My number five is one night. Ultimate Werewolf. Good choice. Yeah, because I think you guys have, well, I don't know if Nessa's played it yet, but I know you have, like, it's, it's got werewolves. The... <laughs> That's I right. actually have one as the werewolf once. Wow, see? But yeah, there's werewolves in it, and you have to figure out who they are before they eat everyone. <laughs> and in one night, Ultimate Werewolf, you only get one night instead of multiple nights. So it's pretty tough. And it's crazy. Cool. That's my number five, One Night Ultimate Werewolf. All right, my number four is a relatively new game for us. It is another kind of exploration game where you're going down into a dungeon and trying to steal some artifacts from a dragon and get your way out while fighting all kinds of beasties on your way through the, the caverns. And that is Clank. Clank? Clank. Mm. So that's my number four, Clank. Good one. Neat. My number four is King of Tokyo. <laughs> You are monsters attacking Tokyo Bay. So you got like King Kong and then you have a cyborg bunny attacking Tokyo. And that is my number five, King of Tokyo. Nice. Four, we four, four. <laughs> hey, whatever, you're doing great. That's awesome. My number four is Rampage. So what you're doing in Rampage, so you kind of have a T-Rex. It kind of looks <laughs> like a T-Rex. I don't know what to call it, but you're, uh, you're trying to like eat smash uh, these pieces and getting and eating getting the meeples. Pe meeples and you're getting as many as you can that's a good one and I happen to know that your favorite thing is to throw buses at people <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's yes. greatness <laughs> yeah because you get to throw on on an other people's ties so to knock them down it's true you can knock other people's so it's kind of like rudeness and brutal in that game yeah, it is, it is rudeness and brutal. Yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 the game's called Terror and Meeple City now, if you're looking for it. Rampage was his original name, but it was renamed to Terror and Meeple City. Good one, Ness. Good pick. All right, my number four is Thunderstone Advance Towers of Ruin. Hmm. Because you spend this deck builder building up and whooping on monsters. <laughs> it's a gold game. Thunderstone Advance. 
My number four. My number three is a new, new game to us. It's not a new game, but it's a new game to us. Is it a new, new game? It is a fairly new game. <laughs> and that game is Arcadia Quest. So Arcadia yeah. Quest is another Dungeon Explorer. It seems to be a common thing with my games. <laughs> it's a Dungeon Explorer game where it's kind of PvP, like the, you're fighting the other players while trying to do quests. Uh, we're currently doing a campaign, or at least the time of this building. Uh, we were working on a campaign, so you can check that out. My number three, Arcadia Quest. My number three oh. is Castle Panic. Ooh, castle Panic is a game where you are... Defending a castle with archers and knights and swordsmen and you are defending it from monsters and trying to make sure your cast your towers don't get knocked down. That is my number three, Castle Panic. Yeah, that's a fun one. I like it. Okay. The, I think it's hold on, that's, I think it was fun, okay. funny when the monster gets inside your castle and starts knocking your walls down. It's like ah <laughs> <laughs> No, the best part is when you get a boulder right through your last tower. That's ah, the worst. No. Alright, now that's what you got for your number bad. three. Oh yeah, Dragonwood. Oh, good pick, Dragonwood. Yeah. Uh, Dragonwood, you're uh, you're basically uh, you're getting uh, you're killing like lots of different kind of monsters, blobs, spiders, lots of them. Yeah, and you and, get to do it three different ways, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, and you get and you get and uh, the number on that card is how many points you get. And you also have special abilities that help you. So, my number three is Dragon Wolf. That's the only game I know of where you can scream at a bucket of spinach. <laughs> <laughs> no, you stomp on the bucket of spinach. Yes. yes. Stomp That's on. a good one, Ness. Right. What's your number three? My number three has Norse beasties in it, and that is Champions of Midgard. Lots of monsters in there. There's different levels. You can go and fight the trolls or the Drakur. The Drakur? I'm assuming that's how you Draugr. pronounce it. Draugr? Draugr? Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> and there's all sorts of other monsters. You can take ships and stuff. Yeah, they're not alive. <laughs> Some of them are, though. Because if you don't kill them, then the townspeople don't like you. It's a really fun game. They wow. place guilt on you. Yes. Wait, Good game. Wait. Lots of dice chucking and blowing up monsters. Champions nice. of Midgard. Interesting. Yep, and that happens to be my number two. Ooh. Champions of Midgard. Good pick, good pick. I like this game. It is, like she said, dice rolling. Uh, it's worker placement with dice rolling combat. What more do you need to know? Number two, Champions of Midgard. My number two is Dragonwood. And as Nessa said <laughs> earlier, you are an adventurer going through a forest and you are beating up monsters by screaming, stomping, and striking on them. Uh -huh. Now, just for a special tip in the future, don't scream at a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> That's my number two, Dragonwood. That well, depends on the cards you have, though, right? My yeah, number I mean, have... two is... Hold on, Nessa. Hold on, Nessa. Oh. We're talking to you. I know. You're excited. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, that means your entire hand has to be, like, all the same color or else you cannot scream at a dragon. Yeah, that would be pretty rough. Because <laughs> isn't it, like, 13 points just to scream at the blue one? Yeah, it's pretty rough. Yeah. All right, Ness, what you got Good for your number two? What you got? What you got? My number two is Castle Panic. Oh! Yeah. Okay, like a lot of so this. Castle Panic is, again, a game you're trying to protect your castle. And there's, you know, different, there's different mo kind of monsters, but they're the same. They're just stronger. And they, <laughs> and... It's a fun game when you actually lose because it's like, ah! <laughs> yeah, that's when you don't mind so, if you win or you lose, huh? My number two is Castle Panic. That's a good one. My number two is Dice Masters D&D. &D. You can't say that one's not chock full of monsters, right? <laughs> so, yes, so that one is takes a bunch of the monsters and creatures from the D&D &D world and puts them into the... Dice Masters game format, and that's probably our favorite version of Dice Masters, actually, because of all the critters and stuff in there. It's a really good one. It plays really well. Dice Masters D&D. &D. All right. My number one is... Dice Masters? No. Oh. Blood Rage! Oh, whatever. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> so you got sea monsters and big giant wolves and wolf guys and all us. Uh, Storm Giants and all kinds of craziness. And Blood Rage, the miniatures are amazing. And they're all monsters. Blood Rage. Number one. Alright. 
My number one is Rampage, Terror in Maple <laughs> City. Again, you are blowing with all your might, flicking buses at people, and trying to turn the city into ruins. Don't forget that you can eat people, lose teeth, and, <laughs> as we have said previously, throw buses at people. My number one, Rampage, Terror like, in Maple City. Sounds like you like that game a little bit or something. <laughs> My number one is a really, really brutal game. Is it brutal, King huh? of Tokyo. Oh, King of Tokyo. that is pretty brutal. It's a game where you uh, have a character, which you get to pick, um, and and you're basically fighting your opponent, and you're... Uh, and your goal is to try to get a uh, Lisa Kate. I think it's 20 hearts. 20 victory points. Yeah, 20, 20 victory points. 20 victory points that look like stars. Or. You kill take, everybody off, huh? Kill their health to zero, which is a heart. <laughs> to be. Yep. The hearts. Yep. So, so, my number one, King of Tokyo. Nice, nice. Greatness. And my number one. Is all about monsters. In fact, it's about raising monsters. Oh. That is Dungeon, Dungeon Pets. Pets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's a cute little game where you've got little monsters and you set them up in their little new little homes and you have to feed them and take care of them and then sell them off to the right customers. And that is my number one, Dungeon Pets. Well, there you go, folks. There is our top five. I think there's a lot of crossover. Maybe you might have got ten games out of that. Oh, I just, yeah. <laughs> but. Have a awesome and amazing Halloween or whatever you celebrate this time of year from the Thomason family. Ooh. Bye. Ooh. Bye. Bye. <laughs>